Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jackie Fitch, and welcome back to some more Thrones of Britannia. We are back as we did last episode. We declared war on the Danes, ready for battle. And I think we fought a pretty influential battle over on the left hand side. Our three armies descending upon them, taking out one of their first armies. And now, hopefully, we can just steamroll northwards, taking land as we please. I mean, honestly, this could actually be the last episode in the series. I wouldn't be surprised if we did manage to wipe out the whole of the Danish forces in this episode. I guess we'll have to find out. Um, I mean, I guess if it's titled This is the End or something, then you will know if we have another episode left or not. But I think what we're going to do is try and catch the Danish army out right here, stop them from being able to retaliate. Um, they have a pretty nice army. They have a lot of cavalry, but I'm going to jump into it. I always like to start off these episodes with a nice, interesting battle. So this is like the perfect time. Oh, it's a river crossing battle as well. This should be fun indeed. I mean, we're just going to bum rush with all of our infantry across the river because we have a shit ton of infantry. Something that would be really nice for river cross battles is to have the deployment zones a little bit further back so there's time for one side to get almost across the river. I know that kind of defeats the purpose of having a river crossing, but I think that'd be kind of cool just to kind of open up the battle a little bit more instead of just having, you know, people running across the bridge especially only having one bridge as well i always kind of think that's you know it may be like interesting and fun but it kind of just kills the uh the actual strategy of the battle you know especially with the way the ai is i feel like you know just having a couple bridges across it i mean i guess yeah i guess it is really super maybe not even having a couple bridges maybe having a couple river crossings um, and then just having one main bridge and maybe the river crossing slows you down a ton. So if you do want to try and cross the river, it's going to be, you know, take you a little while to do so or something like that. You know, just something to make it a little bit more interesting rather than just, you know, you're stuck here and we have to try and make ourselves all cross. Um, so let's just go and start it. I think what we're going to do is just try and throw our forces across, archers up, obviously. Because, yeah, there's no other place across the river, right? We can go, No. Because it, it would show me if we could. No, so it's not. So yeah, I guess we're just going to rush our entire army forward. And just hope we can get across in time. I'm um, also obviously going to push up my archers. I say I'm going to push up my archers. Where the hell are you guys going? Archers, go up here, please. Again, I'm not going to get like charged across the river. No, they shouldn't be able to go up here. Again, these guys shouldn't be able to come up here either. These archers, however, should be giving the, their Viking scouts a little bit of a volley. As my infantry does pour across the uh, bridge itself. And now that Throne to Britannia is out, I definitely do want to take hold of the uh, the Discord, my Discord now having it, and creating a 1066 battle. I think that would be really cool. Um, or even like a Stamford Bridge battle, but you know, the battle fought before 1066. We would really have some fun engagements with the Danes and stuff, as we simply just pour. Are they just going to let me pour across the river? They are. Well, sucks to be them. Well, so yeah, basically just form up here then. Uh, we'll start pushing up the rest of our Huskles and other units. Um, our archers can't even shoot them, but that's fine. Our cavalry might as well even come through as well. Or at least move up, and obviously our general and you guys come up as well. See, I think our infantry is literally just going to form up, because why the hell not get ready to fight them? We probably should be charging as well. Yeah, just counter charge the enemy. It does look like we also have a good overlap on this left-hand side as well. Which is going to be very nice. Oh, it's a rock in the way there. Watch out, guys. There's a deadly rock right there. Be careful. Uh, the cavalry can come across now, I think. Because I want to try and smash their horsemen. They only have scout horses here, so they really shouldn't be an issue. And obviously, get we'll get out. Is this Alfred? Yeah, this is Alfred up here. Alfred's royal bodyguard. So our infantry line will be struggling a little bit, honestly. They have a lot of good infantry. I mean, I say struggle. It's not going to be as clean cut as it has been in previous battles. You know, we are going to be getting hit from every side here, and it's going to be up to our Normans to try and keep the enemy as bay as much as possible. As long as they just stay and don't rout, that's the most important thing. I mean, they're not exactly very happy. But with the support of the cavalry, the cavalry should... Where the f hell are their courses going? Oh, but they charge me here? Oh, they, they charge me for a little bit there. Uh, Alfred is going to get up here. I mean, look at his aura size as well. That's huge. We're actually coming into range of their men. Oh, they actually, they actually did hit me right here. That's hilarious. They did actually shoot me. Kind of funny. They actually, they're actually recharging me. The AI is not doing some dumb stuff here. They're actually holding their own. And I definitely want to be on this left-hand side. And as soon as we can pop these abilities, then it's going to be over. Just get up here, Alfred, as soon as you can. Hear their javelins is nice. Oh, my God. You can hear them from there. 
We, de we can debuff them from all the way back here. That is just crazy. Look, we can pop off all these buffs from this distance, this far away. And we're just buffing. Nice. Our cavalry has now one minute. We can just rotate it around. More infantry coming up here. This left-hand side does definitely need help. So we'll push over there. And we'll just throw Alfred in as well. Go kill their general. The cavalry should now be able to silence their archers. Uh, did I not tell you guys to go kill these guys, please? A lot of their infantry is now starting to fall back here to try and deal with my charges. We have a lot of their mailed axemen and shield biters falling back. Our axemen charging off against their cavalry. Probably not the best engagement, but we'll stick it. Nice. Alfred's up here as well now. And we should basically have their lines fairly, mu uh, pretty much cleaned up now. This obviously, this left flank's a little bit of an issue, but not really going to be one for much longer. Cavalry, what are they engaged with? Uh, basically just swordsmen, right? Actually, where the fuck are our cavalry? We've got one unit over here getting cut down. Probably should bring them out. And then you're just chasing down the missiles. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's bring that other unit of cavalry out then. Tell it to go charge down. And the Huskulls will come in there. Try and run these guys forward. I know they're not exactly in the best position, but we'll try and get them forward. Just continue to kill their archers, please. There we go. All their infantry is running now. Battle has been won. There's no general still alive. He only has five men left. It's kind of cool that the Danish general does is fighting. Yeah, I say that. He's just died. But he only had five men left. It's kind of impressive that he did stick around for as long as he did. Cavalry still fighting. My God. They are holding off. Okay, let's go ahead and send some reinforcements then. Round on this other hand side. Yeah, you guys go in there. You guys can basically just charge in there. We'll bring over Alfred as well. I mean, Alfred should be able to debuff all of these guys in two seconds with his taunt ability. We should hopefully bring these guys to breaking. We'll rally as well, because why not? And then we'll also raise our banners. And then it's just a matter of time until they all go. And obviously we will chase them down a little bit with our horses we have then. We'll just triple speed it as well, because the battle is very much over. We'll just charge with everyone else. This is kind of all they've got left. A few remnants of other units kind of scattered around the battlefield, but... They're, they're going to be smashed down and broken down. Unfortunately, at this point, I think Alfred could literally not die, even if the enemy had like five stacks. His army is look all silver experience. He's tier 10 command with all his abilities. I've got the best te like tech in the game. At this point, I think Alfred could take on like four armies and probably still win. Like full four stack decent. Because this army is pretty decent. They have some of these, you know, high tier, tier, you know, a bunch of berserkers there. Um, they just don't do too much. Um, so yeah, we'll kill that and then we'll move on to the last Mercy in Providence. We actually haven't killed Mercy yet, but obviously we're about to. Make sure we finish off this Danish army as well. Because I think the Danes have something like four armies, if I'm not mistaken. Or five, no, six armies to start off with, with their invasion. The Danish invasion is much better than the, um, than the Norman one. The Norman one kind of sucks. There we go. So we've taken this, what is this, a mine? That's okay. Yeah, the place is really happy. I guess we'll improve the church here, up here. And we have this other army, which will be making its way up here as well to help start taking out these places. We've got some abbeys and stuff, which are really useful. You're going to be moving in to take in this, and you can move northwards. Um, actually, what would I prefer? What army's better? I mean, both of these armies are pretty good. I guess we're just going to continue moving northwards, uh, taking all of this Danish land. They have a decent amount, but nothing too crazy. See, honestly, this could be the last last episode we have. Because the Irish Vikings are also taking a lot of the Danes out. And I don't think I'm going to continue this after taking out the Danes. I'm content. Um... Oh, nice. We hit the long... Oh, we hit the last victory condition as well. I was going to say, I'd be kind of maybe tempted to continue just to hit this. But we've hit it now. So we've hit every single victory condition, right? Yeah, apart from the ultimate. Complete any... Oh, no, we need to... Yeah, sorry. So we need to kill the Danes and then we complete it. Nice. Well, we'll do that now, right? Continue to push off. Um, I will try and have a, another battle, though. So we'll probably fight a siege battle if we have it. Um, yeah, if we come across any siege cities, we will probably try and take them out. Yeah, you take this, and then you move northwards more. Probably going to take some attrition because of the snow, but should be fine. I guess you can just sit in here. Take another, what, food province? Yeah, oh, that's a lovely food province. Yeah, then we'll just have to try and take all of this, right? Yeah, as we continue to move northwards. Anything else, like, empire management-wise? I guess we could maybe improve that. Get some more food. Oh, this place is actually kind of unhappy, so I guess I'm going to improve it a little bit. 
uh, yeah, upgrade the city so we can build something a little bit better there. Everywhere else seems to be happy. Oh, all our armies up the north. Like, if there was to be a Norman invasion now, I'd probably get pretty fucked because, like, I've got all my, what, six armies up here or five armies up in the north. Granted, we can afford another one if we want to. I mean, we have 1,400 food here at the moment. Which is pretty goddamn crazy. We have 1,400 food. Like, that's, I mean, we do have half a map, so... Or probably more than half the map. Um, and again, I don't know if the Danes have many armies left. I hope they do, because I don't want to just not have... I've reached a new wreck. A huge... I want to have, like, another battle if we can help it, but... Uh, what should we get? Scribe, probably. Yeah, scribe. Like, I, I want to have another big battle if I can help it, but if they don't want to... I mean, well, there's a city right there. Yeah, we'll siege that out for sure. So you come into there. You start the siege there. Um, Alfred, come in and take this. Is this a wall city as well? And we'll make sure we build our best siege equipment, because why not? Especially a good garrison as well. So, yeah, we're going to get at least one more good battle, because I think this will be the last episode, honestly. Alfred just takes that. Again, all some good positions right there. Nothing too dangerous. And we'll go and take this as well. Even though the Irish Vikings are posturing to take that. I might think we can block them from crossing here, but I don't think we can. That's going to be annoying if they take that. But again, I don't really want to take that. I mean, we only have one, two, three, four provinces left. They also have this up here. So hopefully they deal with it. Because it would be really annoying for me to have to deal with it. But yeah, the Empire is looking pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. We definitely hold a lot of territory. It would be nice to take these away and this away, but I'm not going to stress about it. You know, I'm content with uh, making peace. And it's actually crazy how few uh, empires are left now. What, there's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, like six cities, six factions left on the map? Which is all pretty funny. Oh, nice. We didn't take it. Good. So we can move in there, secure this up for ourselves. Um, and again, I wouldn't mind moving northwards. I mean, they're probably going to take it. We'll move Alfred up there anyway. Quartermaster, sure. Not that it really helps us, <laughs> honestly, because we're not an army. But whatever, and I guess we'll fight this battle now, right? We don't need both these armies, so I'm going to send you after there. Just to help, you know, help us kill them that little bit quicker. You can't move either, but I guess we will be fighting with both these armies. And we'll fight it, obviously. I mean, I'll probably just ignore this army moving in. And just fight with my other army. And they have an okay garrison. I mean, a lot of it is just archers. And they have, like, they have like a couple units of good infantry compared to all of my good infantry. But, you know, if this is to be the end, then we'll, we'll, we'll fight as many battles as we can. And overall, honestly, like, I'll probably save this towards the end of the video. Uh, yeah, I'll save my overall thoughts for the credits and stuff. For Thrones Britannia. If anyone is interested, then obviously just stick around. Because I assume this will be the last episode uh, of the series. So... You know, I really appreciate it as well, guys. So if you could drop a like or a comment on the video, I would really, really be thankful. Uh, it does definitely help out the channel. Gets these videos out here. And especially, it'd be nice to kind of hit a, a, a decent number for the final episode. You know, for the last kind of engagement, it'd be kind of cool to see it. So I'm just going to leave this army by itself. They can just watch from a distance as I, as I burn the city. Because I honestly just don't need it. These siege towers will be plenty enough. Because as soon as they're up there and as soon as the gate's down, I can pile forward with like all of this infantry, which is just simply waiting to be used. I don't actually have any of my good infantry in them siege towers, which is kind of funny. We also have a lot of archers in this army as well, so maybe I will try and start harassing them somewhat as our towers are being brought up to the gate. Kind of cool. I wish there was more like siege, siege escalation in this game. Uh, I've been playing Ancient Empires recently, and if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. It's one of the best mods for Attila out there, and it's going live on the 18th. So if you haven't seen my other videos, do make sure to go check them out. Um, but yeah, like in, in that, they, they have siege escalation much, much quickly, like quicker to affect the city itself. So it actually makes sense to just siege the city out for like three turns uh, to damage the towers and stuff rather than just attacking as soon as you have siege equipment built. Like, there's just a lot more strategy involved, and I really, really do like that. So we've, we've caught... Let's get gates down as well. Um, perfect. Let's go ahead and just go mad. Infantry assault! Sound the horns of battle! The horns of hell are upon us, as whatever uh, Dane says. Yeah, let's just throw them forward. Uh, our archers can come up as well. 
um, as I imagine a lot of their missiles will be getting harassed. I mean, yeah, you broke my siege engine because it automatically destroys. Men come flying through the gate itself. Oh, the Huskles are up here. I mean, the Huskles don't do that great when they don't get a ferocious charge off, but they are simply fighting crappy Viking hunters, you know, just some really bad archers, so they should be able to do a lot of damage. And the archers, I guess, just hit their, their men back here. Should be a lot of archers coming down on these raiders. There we go, the arrows blocking out the sun. Not quite. That's quite a few arrows, though. Picking out quite a few of them as well as they push further and further forward. We'll keep on changing target, though. All of his infantry is about to come flying forward. Make sure we take the rest of the gatehouse as well. Do want to make sure we try and silence them. What are you guys doing? God damn it. Oh, CJI, really. I mean, the pathing in Siege is still is not really much better, which is such a shame to see. Like, I really kind of hoped they they like, because they, they are slight improvements, but it's just not enough. I should find doing good here. Like, I want to try and save all my criticism for the end of the video, so if you guys really want to know exactly what I thought of it. To be fair, though, it's not like I've been... I've been coy with my opinions during this. If I come across something I like, I say it. Um, and if I change my opinion, I say it. So it's not like I've been, you know, sucking at the teeth of a Creative Assembly because because of, you know, I want to keep getting early access or something. And I, they, they're totally cool with that. You know, I think a lot of people give them a, a bad reputation. If I want to hammer a game because I don't like it, I will. And I think a lot of people have hammered this game. Um, but I'm not just going to hammer it for the sake of hammering it, you know. If there's good parts about this game, I'll say it. And I, I will look for the positives overall because I always feel like being super negative is never really that, like, that great. Always try, like, I always do personally try and look for the positives. But I understand if there's stuff that isn't good in the game, I should mention it. And I'm always going to. So don't never get that twisted. Like, I'm sure most of you who do watch my content regularly do know that. Like, I'm never just going to lie, straight like lie or say something's amazing when it's not. And again, I'm trying to avoid saying my overall thoughts on the game and leaving it to the end. But, you know, I, I have enjoyed my time playing Front of Britannia, and I think it has made steps in the right direction. We'll continue, though, to push through in the gatehouse, trying to kill as many of these guys as possible. The Archer Fire is actually coming in really useful, surprisingly. We're not taking the gatehouse yet. Oh no, they've actually got a lot of men up here. Why do they have men up here still? I've got all my men off. <laughs> what absolute weirdos. Why are they doing that? We've got Huskles over here as well. A Huskle charge should be lovely. Uh, let's get our missiles and just shoot their men up here. I don't know why they're up here again. It's such a shame. Oh, just triple speed this as well as we continue to surround them. Yeah, we completely surrounded them there. I mean, the thing is though as well, we we do is just go kill this other general unit, you know? I might as well just move our entire infantry over here. Just move, yeah, let's just move our entire force over here. Our general's coming up as well. Thanks. We'll smash down this barricade and then just simply charge forward onto the general. Because if their infantry's just going to stay out there, then like, I'll send some units to go and fight them, but I'm not going to overextend. And all our archer fire as well is coming in. Oh, what the hell is this? This is like, I will give Thrones of Britannia this as well. Like, before like I say anything, like, the performance has been really, really good. Now, that little spot drop right there is probably not the first bit of lag I've had in my entire time. What, I've played like over 20 hours of this. So, like, I've played a lot of time in Thrones of Britannia. And the performance has been really, really decent for me. Now, if only they can back put that back to Attila, that would be amazing. You know, if, that, if we could get this type of performance in Attila, that would be so goddamn good. I don't really know why it's shitting the bed now. Because as I said, like, I really have not had any issues with Thrones of Britannia whatsoever when it comes to performance. And I've had some pretty big battles as well. I think I've had 10,000 soldiers in battle before, and it's being absolutely fine. The Archer Fire is trying to find its target. It's just kind of really weird that they're just not... Like they've like glitched out on the walls. And I really hope this is fixed. If this is not fixed for 3k, I'm going to be so disappointed. Like, sieges in China should be amazing, you know? 
I want to have multi-layer sieges where I have infantry flying in from all ways. I want soldiers brutally fighting over the wall. I want the AI to, you know, if they if they get overwhelmed at the wall to retreat back their forces, but I don't want them to give up the walls lightly, you know. I, I just want I just I don't want 3k to be everything and more. And if it isn't, I think I think it's gonna be very, very disappointing, honestly. That charge was ferocious, though. And I want huge impactful charges, you know. And I'm, I'm really actually interested to see what they're going to do with 3k, whether it's going to be the romanticized version. I imagine it's going to be like a mixture of both. You know, they're going to have, uh, probably have heroes and allow them to do a lot of damage, but not as OP as Warhammer, I would imagine. And I, I mean, I, I, I would assume they'd have bodyguards as well. Because I, I mean, you just make bodyguard really, really OP, right? And it's absolutely fine. Oh, there we go, we win. Um, so like, yeah, I I'm really looking forward to 3k. Hopefully we'll get more information. E3 is coming up, but they haven't really said anything that they're, they're, they're out of E3. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, uh, what they do go ahead and do. Guys, just go like here. There you go. Battle one as well. Perfect. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get more information on 3k now that Thrones is done. I imagine we'll get information on 3k after Mortal Empire update comes out and the new Warhammer DLC. I assume then um, we'll get a bit more information. But nice, we've taken the city. We could liberate them. Cumbry. No, never. England is mine. Well, I guess kind of getting up to Scotland now. Has everyone moved? I believe they have. You're going to go up there northwards. Cool, let's just end the turn now. So the last Danish provinces are soon to be destroyed. Yeah, you can see the Irish Vikings are taking them out. So like, it's me and the Irish Vikings are definitely the strongest factions in the game. Um, so yeah, you can come along here. Oh, you're actually in range of that as well. I'm hoping that they'll go and clear this out for me so it saves me. And you've taken all of that. Do they have? They still have this up here. I really don't want to have to sail up there, but I might start preemptively sailing. Oh no, you guys are going to take that out. Now you just need to go take that out. Is it under siege? Is it a city? No, it's not. I might have to just start sailing now. We await your commands. Um, yeah, I mean, Alfred can just sit. Like here, why not? Oh, you leveled up twice as well, nice. And obviously we'll repair all of this. I did not mean to do that, but I did mean to do that, perfect. Um, I mean, I could just march. I could just, do just want to give them military access? Yeah, good. I mean, we, we should be good friends. Why is it insulting? Give me military access. No reason not to. Like, I'll make me pay for it, sure, but... I mean, I imagine they're going to go northwards now and kill the Danes for me. They've just taken that away. There's one Danish army here, which we can just chase down if we need to. Yeah, the Danes are going to... Oh. Wait, have they been killed? No, they still have that one province. Who's this? Sacred King. Oh, nice. Is that because we killed... So, mere mortals are ordinary men, but kings and leaders are ordained by God. But why do we get this? What did we? We didn't complete our objective, did we? I clicked the wrong button there. No, we still got to kill the the Viking invaders, which should be taken out by them next turn. And I guess we will start sailing elsewhere. Yeah, I guess we'll start sailing with a twenty stack and just go in, hopefully kill their last army. So yeah, you come round here now. Go all the way around, all the way around. Um, up here, please, and then still all the way up there. Hopefully, it won't take me that long. If it does take me that long, I'll probably just cut it out. But I'll, I'll let it run for now because, as I said, it's only what 24 minutes into the episode. We've had two pretty cool battles, and maybe the Danes will just die anyway on our way up there. So I'll leave it in because we can just talk more about the game. But yeah, you will march around, and uh, hopefully, it won't take you too long to sail up here. Uh, no, not too long, like four turns, right? Oh, not even that. Yeah, like three, four turns. That's kind of cool. Herder. I, I really like what they've kind of done with the traits. I just feel like they need to do something else to make the traits kind of a bit more impactful. Maybe give less traits, but make them more, like, important about the man's character, you know? And have, a, have a, like, a whole range of traits. Instead of having, like, 60 million traits, give, like, five and make each one really, really impactful. And maybe as they grow older and older, they, they get more and more. Something like that, I think, would be a really cool way, just to make them a little bit more important. Oh, we got this. True Sovereign. Yeah, that's what we picked up then. Um, sure. Why not? We'll get that. As we continue to march towards the last Danish stronghold. 
Oh, they, they will definitely regret the time they came over here. I mean, the, the, the Irish Vikings literally have a province right there. Surely they can just wipe them out. Another sun. God, we are developing suns like Moving nobody's business. No, don't. Yeah, don't go into enemy territory. Don't land. Um, and then... Oh, they took it, right? So they dead? Are we done? Oh, they have one army here. The army should die anyway. Now, and I think we have the game complete, I would say. The Danes should be wiped out now. Are they? No, still grows. not yet. Two level ups, though, so we'll do that. And we'll do that, sure. Um, so where are they still alive? Oh, they're moving northwards. What the hell? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna chase them to the ends of them earths. I guess we'll go this way to avoid the. No, they're pissed at me no matter what. But whatever. I mean, it's not really trespassing, is it? Because we're just sailing. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll chase them up northwards and hopefully catch the Danes. I mean, the Danes have to attack somewhere now because they don't have any more cities. Still not dead. Where are they as well? Yeah, they are moving northwards, man. I hope it's like a 20 stack as well, honestly. Like, I really wouldn't think it would be cool if it was just like a 20 stack waiting for us, you know, for one final epic battle. And I really feel like it would have been super cool with this game is if they did like a, a historical stage battle for the end of the game. You know, when you take England and stuff, you just fight a historical stage battle like you do in Warhammer, where you, um, uh, what do we want? It doesn't really matter. We'll just, just reduce spending, why not? Um, yeah, it'd be really cool if you could fight like an end time battle where you just fight, the, you know, basically the Battle of Hastings, but not really, you know, 1066. Also, why did this faction not like me too much? Oh, it's because Danish? Come on, someone kill them. I don't want to just chase them around endlessly. Someone just catch them and murder them, please. My hard work pays off. Sure, you can have my blessing, Our good sir. Because, oh, they actually did take a city there. Goddamn Highlands. Do I have to go the whole... No, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to land here and march through their lands. They'll be pissed, but... Hey, what's the worst that can happen? I've got, like, five armies on the border, so if they do want to fight me, then fucking bring it on. I mean, I'm going to end it anyway once the Danes are killed. And we hit that ultimate victory. I mean, imagine everyone else as well is going to be moving up. Anyway. Yeah, just fuck it and go and kill them, please. Um, yeah, we, we get so much research. I think in this game, getting, like, the max research um, really quickly is actually so goddamn good. Because if you can pick up, like, if you can get your reset... Oh, there we go. Perfect. When history is written, your name and the glorious tales of your conquests will grace its pages. It will speak of how you forced out your enemies and bent them to your will. Of your kingdom's prosperity and how your rule was righteous and just. Much will be written in recognition of your achievements, your domination of the age. Now, one king rules the thrones of Britannia. All hail the king. All hail Alfred, king of England. God save the king. God save the king. And there we have it. We have now completed thrones of Britannia. I really enjoyed that. It took us 132 turns. Granted, we probably did take this a lot slower than we needed to. Uh, we hold, oh my god, we hold so many settlements as well. 122. I did not realize we held that much. Uh, we encountered, obviously, all the factions. made a ton of money. Where are the battle ones? Uh, so we only actually had seven armies at one point. That was the most ever. Um, we lost six generals. That's probably just an old age, though. Uh, we killed 848 units, or 46 units, and uh, lost ourselves 35, which is kind of funny. Did we lose? Did we, how many battles did we lose, which weren't, like, settlement battles? What did it say? Oh, here we go. Total victories. Uh, where are defeats? losses so we lost two battles overall and they were both siege defeats i imagine oh yeah one was over in kent i can't remember where the other one is 
Um, not a bad win to loss ratio indeed. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this campaign. I really do appreciate all the love that it has gotten. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. My overall thoughts on Thrones of Britannia as can we look at the credits of the game? Yeah, we'll do this whilst we uh, whilst I talk. Um, one of the, like, my overall thinking on Thrones of Britannia is it was a great step in the right of direction. I really loved how they tried to do a ton of stuff different, and I think some stuff worked, some stuff didn't work. Some stuff was kind of a little bit half-assed as well, like the estate mechanic really just need, didn't need to be there. Like, it didn't really do anything. I liked the idea of it, but it just overall wasn't there. Battles kind of felt very samey, honestly. However, I don't mind that because of the time period. It kind of fits with how battles did roll out and i really liked how they try to make battles last longer i really you know do enjoy that um, where it gives you more opportunity to have more strategic maneuvers so i really did did that the character development as well was much better in thrones of britannia um, unfortunately you know, the game was just kind of really easy the ai if it fell behind on technology just never really beat you back and i would love instead of this very hard hard and uh you know legendary difficulty i would love just sliders like they have in hearts of iron where i can say i want every faction to get a bonus to their economy i want every faction to get a bonus to their research and just kind of all like I want this specific faction to get a bonus to their research I would love to be able to kind of create my own sandbox game and kind of sort out what factions are strong and what factions aren't strong i think that would be really really fun um if we could have the opportunity to do that um also i feel like diplomacy needs to be more transparent like tell me if like 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 Stellaris does as well sorry to keep on going back to paradox games but Stellaris goes ahead and gives you the opportunity just to see exactly why they don't want to do it and how much you need to do to get it over a certain limit. I feel like Total War Diplomacy just isn't in depth so there's no need to ha kind of hide it from a player just show the player give them the information you know who cares if it breaks the immersion or anything it's still going to be um you know i think very important to the game to show something like that honestly um as well as that i really enjoyed the, the way you recruited men but i think my most okay so my i, I really my, my my favorite thing in thrones of britannia has to be that the uh siege maps were absolutely awesome siege maps were the best they've been in any total war game in my opinion my second Second favorite thing which is definitely up there is that the AI just didn't cheat the AI in like Warhammer you will end up seeing a one province city with four armies and you yourself can have like two armies and you have like quadruple maybe no maybe, maybe like seven eight provinces and you can muster like two armies and they have one city and they can muster like five and i think that this is so stupid and it, it it's an artificial game difficulty right it makes you think the game is hard because it's just giving the ai a load of armies and they don't have to play by the same rules as you which i think is really dumb and again that's why i think the ai slider would be really good because you could tell them you know oh i want this faction's units to be a bit better than the average units and kind of make it more more difficult that way it gives the player the opportunity to to create the ai they want to create and fight against you know if they want the ai to be really op and have five armies of one city they can do that themselves but i really feel like just giving that artificial difficulty is just so crappy and it kills the immersion and it's just really really boring i i hate it so much that's probably my biggest gripe with the warhammer and total war series is just how much the ai cheats and i really want to like thank the people who made thrones of britannia for not like for making the ai not cheat at least as much as it does in other games um and it kind of does show though you know that's one of the downsides so not making the ai cheat it meant that the ai itself was fairly easy now i, I think they are going to be making it harder i think jack lost had said it on reddit that they're going to be looking to make the mid game and late game a lot harder um which is good obviously very very good um, but again, like, I just feel like giving the player the opportunity to make stuff harder for themselves and the way they want to do it is just a really good thing. And I, I can't imagine it'd be too difficult to, to create in the in-game options, you know? And that's why I, I think one of, um, well, like, that's why I think Paradox games are so good in the way they create an, a sandbox strategy game is they kind of almost give the player the ability to create the sandbox they want to start off with. Uh, which I think is really really cool now obviously there's differences, but you know whatever you guys kind of know what I mean um, And I guess there we go. That's kind of gonna be my overall thoughts. I really enjoyed Friends of Britannia honestly um, It had it pro it had its problems um, And I think one of the best ways to describe it is kind of like two steps forward one step backwards with Friends of Britannia 
and hopefully they learn a ton of stuff from the game and the next saga title if they do do another saga title i'm hoping will be really good um you know much more improvements on it and hopefully like a new engine and stuff would be really really good as well and hopefully even 3k learned some stuff from this uh, you know hopefully this will make three kingdoms a lot lot better as well so yes hopefully you guys enjoyed this series if you did go ahead and give it a like and a comment make sure to check out my other stuff i've recently started a new ancient empires mod campaign for attila which is basically like rome 2 and attila but with a huge amount of depth and just so many awesome mechanics in so definitely go check that out that mod comes out on the 18th of may so if you haven't already checked it out definitely do because it's like playing roma Surrectum 2 for rome 1 again it is is amazing um and yeah cool i will see you guys hopefully in the next one.